Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So let's find out together who's coming towards you. Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. Someone from the past, guys, can approach you and this person may not have the history factor in their favor when it comes to the opportunity to reconnect with you. The Nine of Swords is an energy about anxiety. And it can be about this person because they are almost freaking out when it comes to the fact that maybe the two of you have been in a no contact type of situation for a while. And we can also say that some of you may experience this type of energy as soon as this person reaches out because you can even think something like, oh boy, what do they want? Why are they reaching out? And they are reaching out because they want to work on the connection with you, Eight of Pentacles, which is a productive mindset. It is a way to achieve positive results. But unfortunately, it seems that this person cannot be trusted. The Seven of Wands in this version is super interesting because we have a storm in the background of the card. And so we can say that the connection between you and this person was kind of troubled. And that's why the Two of Swords Crossroads may describe the fact that this person can gather the courage to reach out, but at the same time, they can wear a mask. And we got the Seven of Swords twice in the advice position for you. And also we can say that some of you may have to basically see through an act that this person can bring forward when it comes to the opportunity to offer you guys the chance to work once again on the connection. So let me see, let me see the Eight of Pentacles because this can be the energy that this person can truly try to manifest in order to be successful in the endeavor to reconnect with you. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles, recurrent energy. We also got it for you in the advice. So they can be single, yes, and they want to nurture the connection with you. Guys, if this is not an ex for some of you, this person can be someone that can see potential in a connection with you, but these energies are not in favor of this person to be by your side moving forward. So they can say that they like you. We got the Oracle card, but following the hand of cards one, some of you can consider the opportunity to take a chance with this person as a risk. And then guys, the other Oracle cards, the light. This is not a connection that can be perceived as a positive opportunity. Consciousness can be a level of awareness extremely high that can be helpful in order for you to realize that this one may not be the chance for you you know, the best possible chance for you. Divine Masculine, kind of interesting, but it can describe someone that can take action. And I am leaning towards the fact that it can be this person, the one that uh, makes the first move. Coherence, guys, if this is a former lover, an ex, they can lack coherence because of the double seven of swords that some of you have already experienced when it comes to connection with this person. At the same time, we can say that for you, the opportunity to avoid to interact with this person moving forward can be a matter of coherence because you may have already made your decision. So this is extremely important. Energies of the connection, how does it feel? The word, the star clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Guys, the connection, the interaction, let's say, can feel like a chapter closed already. Word plus the Ten of Swords, this is no joke, the Ten of Swords, it's a dead end. And the star is interesting because it can work like a question. Can this person be a wish granted for me? Chances are the answer can be no. So if they are an ex, they can truly try to rise to the occasion because of the wizard on top of the cliff in the Seven of Wands, but they can truly bring forward problems and they can say that now they are in a good place Nine of Pentacles, Empress, and so they want to try again with you, but the connection can lack foundations that can be truly trustworthy, and so there is no future. 
And if this is a new person, for example, maybe a colleague for some of you, you may not like them. And so the wish is not in common. And the nine of cups that we got is a night out, maybe with a coworker, for example, and it may not be a wise decision, the one to pursue this opportunity. That's why the world can even become an energy about experiences and it can follow the consciousness oracle card because for me, the chance to go through the life chapters is the opportunity to learn new things so that we can raise the level of awareness and wisdom. And hopefully we have the chance to be more successful in the following stages of the adventure. So guys, I want to investigate. I want to investigate the word energy indeed because I am kind of curious in particular about the potential X scenario. Here we go. Nine of swords again. So it can be the anxiety of this person, but it can also be your anxiety. Do not fall for the energy because as we usually share in the readings, it's a self-inflicted torture of the mind and we do not need it. Our mind should always be an ally, not an enemy. 10 of ones, another 10, my goodness. Not only the last mile, but also the perception that the interaction with this person can be a source of struggles and turmoil. Well, if they are an ex, 100%. And if they are a new person, some of you may not like the interaction. You know, it doesn't click, it doesn't feel good. Six of Wands, the warrior coming back from the battle victorious. No victory for you together with this person. If they are an ex, you have already left behind the battlefield. So there is a level of awareness, a realization when it comes to the fact that this person may not be meant for you and they will have to accept this type of consideration. If they are a new person, once again, they may like you, but you may not like them as well. And the Ten of Cups is the energy about ultimate emotional fulfillment, what some of you may desire. It can follow the Delight Oracle card, but it should be about a common vision. And the star is, at the end of the day, an energy that can encourage us to aim high in order to fulfill expectations and desires. This one doesn't seem to be a real chance to manifest a positive outcome. So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Page of Wands, the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords again. So we got it twice. And some of you may not like the interaction because if this is an ex, you can consider them as a Page of Wands, so someone extremely mature. And if there were betrayals, lies, nonsense, BS involved in the connection, you can remember everything, double seven of swords. If this person is an ex, the interaction, so the fact that they can reach out can feel like an ambush because of this version of the seven of swords. And if you're looking for a fair companion, this person doesn't stand a chance, even if they can say that they are in a better place, you know, when it comes to their life. If this is a new person, I am sorry to say that you may not like them. And so you are not having it basically. Guys, let me see. Mm, let me see the double seven of swords at this point, because the energy is not in favor of the opportunity to consider this person a fair companion, maybe for different reasons, according to the scenario, but this double seven of swords is a major red flag, a major red light. Here we go, let's see. Five of Wands, turmoil, inner conflict, also gossip competition, which maybe were factors along the connection if this is an ex, if this is a new person, some of you basically may realize immediately that the connection is not the one that you want. Queen of Pentacles, they can interact with you because they can think that you are extremely open 
and a reasonable human being like the Queen of Pentacles can be. So they can count on the fact that you may be available to find agreements. This is not possible because of the double seven of swords. There is no trust. A lot of questions and doubts, the seven of cups. Then guys, if you are single indeed, like the nine of pentacles lady, you may have options. And so why should you settle for a connection that you do not like in the first place? Some of you can truly think that this can be a risk. The other person can be strategic almost with you. And it's like they have a plan. Well, if they are an ex, 100% they have a plan. They want you back, but they can be aware of the fact that they can fight against the odds. If this is a new person, guys, they can see a connection with you like a wish granted. All right. We can even be flattered about that type of consideration. But uh, the point is pretty simple. Some of you may have the opportunity to interact with someone that you do not like and maybe someone that you do not trust, especially if they are a colleague, a co-worker, you know, someone that can be... What's the word in English? Kind of slithering, you know? They can be sneaky. Not exactly a pleasant vibe, you know, when it comes to the interaction with this person. And so they can pretend even to be someone that they are not in order to impress you. This set of energies is almost a warning when it comes to an ex, a reunion, a reconciliation doesn't seem to be a wise move. And when it comes to a new connection, this person can turn you guys off immediately. You know, as soon as the interaction gains a little bit of momentum. And so if you do not like them, you cannot fake any type of feelings for them and so there can be the encouragement for you to be clear about the fact that you are not interested this can be a matter of coherence because if you know what you want there is no reason for you to settle for something that is not even close the type of opportunity that you may nurture in your heart so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful somehow some way if you want to comment like and subscribe it will help our channel to grow so thank you and until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.